Today, we're delving into the fascinating world of insects, where tiny creatures showcase incredible hunting strategies that might just surprise you. Don't underestimate these creepy crawlies. In this video, we'll uncover the top 10 insect hunters with strategies that are smarter than you might think. Get ready to be amazed by the cunning tactics these insects employ to secure their next meal. Let's jump right in. Antlion. Imagine you see a small bug called an adult ant lion. It looks a bit like a slow dragonfly that lazily flies around and sometimes eats something if it gets in its way. But if you look at the ant lion when it's a baby, it's a different story. It's like a creature from a scary dream. It lives in a sand funnel and eats anyone who accidentally falls in. Before it eats them, it hides in the sand and waits. When an insect walks on the sand, the hidden ant lion attacks. Lots of sand flies onto the victim, and even though it might not seem like much to us, it's like rocks falling on the ant. The prey falls to the bottom, the ant lion's jaws lock onto it, and the ant lion sucks it into the sand to beat it. Small bugs like beetles, butterflies, caterpillars, and ants become victims of the ant lion. After eating enough, the baby ant lion transforms into an adult and becomes less scary, like a school bully turning into a harmless loser. Spiders Spiders are cool hunters in the insect world. Some spiders wait in their sticky webs for prey, while others hide and rush out to catch their victims. Some live in pipes, and some dig deep burrows with entrances covered in soil, plants, and spider webs. They stay hidden until an insect they like comes close. Then, they quickly grab it and bring it back to their home to share with their family. Female spiders in burrows can live up to 20 years, but males, who have to search for females, don't live as long. Spiders that jump out of holes can be surprising and scary. Not just spiders, but tree ants of the cephalata species also know how to cleverly hide their homes. Caterpillars now, let's talk about caterpillars. Most caterpillars eat leaves, and they are called herbivores. But there's a special caterpillar in Hawaii called the Hawaiian Eupathesia caterpillar, and it's different. Unlike other caterpillars, it doesn't eat leaves, it eats other living things. Why is it like this? Well, Hawaii didn't have many insect predators early on, so the Eupathesia caterpillar found a niche, a place to live and eat. But to get its food, it had to get smart. The caterpillar changed its hind legs so it could stick to leaves, twigs, and other surfaces. Its front legs evolved to grab and hold onto its prey. The caterpillar acts like a branch or stalk, staying very still and waiting for insects to come close. When an insect is within reach, it quickly attacks, and just like that, one insect is eating another. It's a clever and cool way for this caterpillar to survive and get its food. Emerald Cockroach Wasp What about real zombies? I'm not kidding. There are creatures in the wild world that are not alive anymore, but not completely dead. This happens because of the Emerald Cockroach Wasp. It's a beautiful yet very deadly insect. It could be a hero in a horror movie if it were bigger. These wasps are usually not larger than two centimeters, but they prey on much bigger cockroaches. Fighting the cockroaches in a fair fight is not realistic, so the wasps do things differently. They zombify the cockroach with just a few bites. This makes the cockroach partly paralyzed, but it can still move under the wasp's control. The wasp then takes the cockroach by its antenna and leads it to its burrow. It lays eggs on the cockroach's abdomen and leaves it there for a while. The baby wasps hatch, use the cockroach as food, pupate, and then the adult wasp emerges. This cycle repeats. Fireflies In the jungles of Peru, there are special fireflies that are both beautiful and a bit scary. They are like hunters because they have a sneaky way of catching their food. These fireflies start as glowing larvae, when something gets close, they quickly hide in the mud, leaving only their heads and big jaws sticking out. They use their glowing light to attract prey, and when the time is right, they jump out to catch it. Scientists found out that these larvae can control how much light they make and even change the weather around them. 
They decide when to shine brightly or when to turn off their light if there's a danger nearby. It's like they have their own special way of hunting and staying safe. Assassin Bug This is about a creature called the Assassin Bug. I couldn't ignore it because its name is fitting. These tiny predators are almost everywhere. If insects could feel fear, they would be scared of assassin bugs. They have a long nose that is not just a nose, but also a powerful weapon and feeding tool. Assassin bugs are experts at quietly killing in the insect world. They ambush and kill unsuspecting victims, drink their liquid insides by piercing soft tissue with their sharp beaks. First, they inject digestive liquid into their prey, turning their insides into a nutritious soup. Then, the assassin bug sucks up the victim's contents, whether it's still alive or not. Everything happens quickly, ruthlessly, and very professionally. But not all assassin bugs eat insects. Some are happy to drink the blood of bats, and some even feed on humans. Thankfully, they can't suck a human completely. It's a relief that someone so small can't do that. Epimus beetles. Some bugs are born to be good hunters, like the Epomus beetles. They start hunting as soon as they are born. These beetles have a special way of hunting frogs. The beetle larva attacks the frog, hurting its legs so it can't escape. Even if the frog manages to swallow the beetle, it won't be good for the frog. The beetle doesn't get digested, and the frog will eventually have to spit it out. If the attacking larva is still young, the frog might have a chance to survive. In this case, the beetle acts like a parasite, feeding on the frog's body fluids. Sometimes, the beetle may accidentally release the frog, but if the larva is older and almost an adult, it slowly eats the frog's tissues, leaving only bones. That's how these beetles affect the lives of their amphibian prey, sea polychaete worm, a sea creature that looks like a sarlacc is a kind of worm. It lives at the bottom of the ocean, around 10 to 40 meters deep, and likes warm waters. When it becomes an adult, it is 2 to 3 meters long, but only its head, with 5 antenna-like things, sticks out on the surface. The worm uses these antennas to sense movement around it and find its prey. When a fish comes too close, the worm quickly grabs it with its strong mouth, and it's so fast and powerful that it can split the fish in half. This might actually be a kinder fate, because the fish that survives the attack might end up in the worm's burrow, and what happens there is still a mystery to scientists. It's possible that the worm injects a paralyzing toxin into its victim, swallows it alive, and then digests it. It sounds creepy, but surprisingly, the sea worm has cheerful colors. Maybe that's a small comfort to its victims. At least they were eaten by a stylish creature. Giant Water Bug There's this bug that really gives me the creeps. It's called the Giant Water Bug. It's a big insect found all over the world, with the largest ones living in South America and growing up to 10 to 15 centimeters. But what's really scary about them isn't just their size or the fact that they're water bugs, which are not nice bugs. These bugs are sneaky hunters. They use their strong front legs with hooks to grab and hold onto their prey. And guess what? They don't just eat other bugs. These water bugs are like expert hunters, going after fish, frogs, and even snakes. When they catch their prey, they stick their sharp proboscis, like a pointy chew, into it and inject saliva that paralyzes the victim. The saliva also has enzymes that quickly turn the insides of the prey into mush. It's like making a smoothie out of a snake. I know, it's gross. And these water bugs happily slurp it all up. I hope you didn't have food in your mouth while hearing about this. See you later.